Oh, 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 oh. Fish on! Holy cow! There's a fish already! Woohoohoo! Alright, that's what we like to see! Come on! Holy smoly! That's a nice mandrome right there! Take it, take it, take it, take it! Oh, no! Got one! Got one in now! No. Oh, Alright, come on, guy! Get out of the rock! Get out of the rock! Come on, guy! Come on up! I hope it's a gag and I hope it's a legal one! Holy smoly! That's <laughs> about time! There you go! <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Tampa. My name is Scott. Today is Sunday, December 26th, the day after Christmas, and I'm fishing Tampa Bay. I'm out of Fort Manatee. Look at that. Just beautiful out here. Sun's going to be coming up. Calm out today. Bridge is out in the background right there. I'm at 14 feet of water right on the edge of the drop-off right here. Drops right off, the tide's going out. Anyways, today we're going after gag grouper, we're going after mangrove snapper. I was out here uh, two days ago and the day before that, and uh, I had a lot of break-offs of gags, some, uh, some short gags and nice big mangrove, and uh, I, I just had a blast, but it was really cold. It was really blowing out, too. It's cold right now. It's in, I think it's about 58. Hopefully this week it, it'll warm up, and by Friday, the last day of gag season, <laughs> let's, let's hope it reaches close to 70, because I'll be out here, too. I'm going to combine about two or three of the shows into one, and you'll see the, the headings on there say this day and that day, uh, just to make it one, one good show, and I lost a lot of gags. I mean, I lost a lot of these things. I mean, these gags, they took me in the rocks. I'm just using my mangrove snapper rod, and when I go when I go heavy, um, they just don't want to hit it. So anyways, uh, but I, I managed to get a few of them up, and uh, we're just going to keep on trying. So, Well, I hope everybody enjoys the show today. I know it's going to be a blast out here. I always have fun on that. Man, I really get excited when I get mangroves and big gags. So give me a thumbs up for a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You know what we do next? Let's catch some fish. Well, I got a bunch of threadfin herring cut up right now. I got some shrimp. You never know what they want, so I like to give uh, uh, the fish a choice. You know, if I if I see that they're not hitting greenbacks, I go to shrimp. But anyways, here's the threadfin herring. And I'm just going to give it a shot out that way because <laughs> the tide's going out that way. The drop-off is right out there. and I found some good bottom right here, and I'm just going to toss it out and just let it just let it work grab a little bit more and just give it a flick out there like that man i tell you that's ringing the dinner bell right there that's what these guys like the threadfin hearing when i cleaned those uh when i cleaned that one grouper that's what i found in his stomach just like that so just give it a throw out there like that well i'm going to start out with my uh 4000 uh, twin power right here shimano with my uh talus rod uh it's a medium fast action and i'm going to be using a um a 5-0 um, yellowtail snapper jig. I found these online on Amazon. They're not bad. There was a 25 of them for 27 bucks, and they're five odd hooks. And 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, still 15 pound uh, main uh, braid line. And I tell you what, this Power Pro is some pretty tough stuff. Just gonna hook a greenback just like this. This is how I like to hook these guys, just like this right here, just like that. There you go, doing the green, doing, doing the greenback dance. <laughs> That's what we like to see. We're just gonna flick this guy out here. I always like to check the drag, that's not enough. I always back it off when I when I come home and clean it. That's ah, pretty good. I don't wanna lose any today, so uh, we're just gonna give this guy, just give it a flick out there, just like that, and uh, see what happens. Just let it go, just let it go. Just let the tide, the currents, the tide's going out, so we'll just let it take it. You never can tell. We'll see what happens today. Come on. Show them to you hungry guys up. I rang the dinner bell. Come on, come get it. Oh, that greenback, he's active. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Fish on! Holy cow, there's a fish already. Woo-hoo-hoo! All right, that's what we like to see. Wasn't even in 30 seconds. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> man, I tell you, this feels like a gag. Look at that. Oh, he's holding down. Oh, I think he, I think he rocked me. Look at that. See? Yep. I think that's what he did. Oh, there he is again. Holy cow. Come on, guy. Oh, he's, he's, no, oh, that's a gag right there. You know that. Come on. Look at that. Look. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Man. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, 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 let's get him out of those rocks. That's what we want. He's in the rocks. Man. Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. Well, that one gag grouper, he rocked me, so 
I just let my rod stay in the holder right there, put it on a light drag. We'll see if he comes out. It's really rocky here. I got, I'm, I'm putting my Sarah Goose on here with 40 pound leader and uh, 50 pound line. Let's just see if he can get by this. But I tell you, that was the first cast. Just tossed it right out there. Let's see what happens with this. It didn't even stay out there 15 seconds and he hit it. So let's see this. I'm just gonna watch this. You never know. I mean, I've done that before. Just let it stay in there. Just let it stay. Let's see what's out here. Oh my, that greenback's active there too. Holy smolies. <laughs> come on, man, come on. Come on, take it, take it, you guys. <laughs> that chum's ringing the dinner bell. Come on, take it. There's a canoe. I started out fishing in one of those. Look at that. Oh, oh, he's active. Come on, come on. Come on, hungry guys. Come on, hungry grouper. Come on. Oh, look at him. He's on, he's on the other rod. Holy smoly. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. He wants to come out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try this one. Come on, if he wants to come out, I'm ready for him. Oh, oh, oh come on. Man, he's really in those rocks. Come on. Come on. He's down there still. He's down there. Come on out. They don't like this, this braid when you do that, the guitar twang. That really gets to their ear, that little, that, that irritating noise. Just like that. That, does, that just goes right to their head. So let's see what happens. He's active. That greenback is active. Come on. I, another rock. He's still on there. He's still on there. Come on. You're just gonna let that just let that guy sit in that rocks. He's got his gill plate spread. He's just hanging out there. So we're just gonna let him do his thing. Oh, there he goes. He's active on that rod. I just saw him again. Gotta be careful. I'll put this rod down. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this. Come on, guy. Come on, come on out of there. Oh, look at him see him. <laughs> Oh, he's still down there. He's still down there. We're gonna, we're gonna just play this one out. Lost the pinfish out here. This guy's still, this gag is still down there in the rocks. He may be tangled around down there, so we'll see. There's some really good bottom here. I'm in 15 feet of water. I'm right on the edge of the drop off, right here. There's Port Manatee out there. The channel's right there. It's starting to get uh, a little uh, bouncy out here. Look at that. <laughs> The Rodan's doing his thing, keeping me right on the spot here, though. That's that's what we want. <laughs> let's look, come on, let's get a fish in here. Haven't got a fish in the boat yet. Chumming up, chumming up just like that. Just keep chumming out here. That greenback is active down there. Come on, do your thing. Bring us up a gag. Take it. I think something might have this thing. Yep. Come on. Oh, look at that. Got him. Oh, let's see if we can't get this guy in here. Come on. I'm thinking this is a guy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I got it off. Oh, man, again? I tell you, that's like the third or fourth one already. Holy cow. Man, I tell you. Finicky guys. You know, I'm using the smaller uh, yellowtail snapper jigs on them, but that's they seem to be hitting that. I tried bigger hooks and then in line, and they didn't like it. They didn't want it. Had two rock me up, couldn't get them out. Come on, come on, come on, take it, take it, take it, guy, take it. Take it, take it, come on. Oh, I missed again, no, oh, come on. Finally, I don't know what it is. Well, oh, it's a nice mangrove, come on, holy smolies, that's a nice mangrove right there. Holy cow, that's a nice mangrove. He's about 13 inches, holy cow. And look at it, got him on that uh, yellow tail snapper jig, that buy bot right down here on the drop off and 27, 28 feet of water, right on the edge. Let's put this guy on the check it stick and just measure him anyway. Man, look at that, it's it's taking me a while. He's 12 inches, 12 and a half, but he's, but he's a good looking fish, man, I tell you. Look at that ice guy, look at that. Well, it looks like he was on the rocks. There's a lot of rocks down here. Man, look at that beautiful looking fish. Let's get a real measurement, yep. Nice, 12 and a half. That's a beautiful fish though, I'll take them. This is the first fish of the day, believe it or not. I've been getting uh, getting cut off, broke off, and <laughs> and uh, hung up in the rocks and everything, but uh, nice mangrove, man, beautiful guy. Let's see this guy, man, I tell you. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I tell you, that's a beautiful mangrove snapper, Port Manatee. Look at that right there. Man, I tell you, let's get another oh, that mangrove snapper here. It's almost 11 o'clock, and I uh, got him on this uh, 5 uh yellow tails uh, snapper jig right here, just right on the edge of the drop off. It's right here, and I've just been casting into the channel since the tide's really ripping in and just letting it sink straight down, and I'll be getting them right on this ledge right here. About 22 feet of water right here, right on the edge of the channel, right here. And uh, just just gonna be casting out my uh, my greenback, and I got it on a modified knocker rig. Right here, let me show you. Just like that. I just put a 3 8 uh, slip sinker on that uh, 5 uh circle hook. With the, that's an eighth ounce uh, yellowtail snapper jig, and I'm just gonna just drop it down, just like that let it go right down on this drop off trying for gags or mangroves i mainly want gags today i got my saragusa 5000 with i believe it's 40 pound uh power pro on there with my uh, medium heavy uh rod here so we'll see what happens today really windy out windy and cold i got a pinfish on here come on take it 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 oh oh got one got one in out Oh, all right, come on, guy. Get out of the rocks. Get out of the rocks. Come on, guy. Come on up. I hope it's a gag and I hope it's a legal one. Holy smoly, that's <laughs> about time. It's so cold out here. Let's see what that. Oh, it's a gag. Look at that. Oh, well, not a big one, but um, you know what? A gag nonetheless. There you go. <laughs> it's about, you know, I'll tell you what, it's about time. Look at that beautiful gag. Holy smolies, look at that. He was in the rocks too, look at that. Yep. Well, I tell you, <laughs> I've been out here all morning and this is the only gag I got. Well, you know, the tide's starting to change, so, and uh, man, he almost looks like a black grouper, but he's a gag. And look at that, he's got, um, he's got, look at what down his, down his throat, looks like a sardine, look at that, half digested. And um, man, I tell you, got him on a pinfish, that's what he hit on. Nice little, nice little guy, but uh, he's got to go back. He's not very big. Let's just put him on here for measure. Looks like he's about 16 inches. Let's just see. Oh, look at that tail. These guys, they're made for power. No, look at that. I was right. 16. 16 inches. Yep. Beautiful fish, but he's got to go back. Yep, he's got to go back. Tampa Bay gag. Look at that. Right by the skyway. So let's let him go. Yep, got him on a pinfish. Hit right off the bat. He, he hit right off the bat, too. So let's try it. It's, the water's 64 degrees, but uh, we're going to let this guy go. Anyways, go on, guy. There he goes. <laughs> let's get another. This is what I got that gag on. I just used a um, just my uh, modified knocker rig right here. It's just a 5-0 circle hook with a, that's uh, the, the 5 uh yellowtail snapper jig with a quarter-round slip sinker. Just slips down just like that. That's all I use, and I just tossed them out here. I'm right on the edge of the drop-off. Right on the very edge, right out here. So I just gave them a flick out there like that. It's 13 feet here, but probably out there is about 28. It just drop, drops straight down. So let's see what happens. Maybe they're turning on. This morning, it's been so cold. The water is 64, 65 degrees, depending on uh, where you take the temperature. But oh, he's active. Look at that. Come on, guy. Yeah, he's scared. I, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on the edge of this drop-off down in Port Manatee here. I only have 15-pound braid on my uh, on my uh, snapper rod here. This is the uh, Twin Power, the 4000 Twin Power. really like it with the Talus PX. Let's get a bigger fish. Let's get a keeper. Look at him. He's going that way. That pinfish, something scaring him. <laughs> I got my pole in the rod holder. I think it's a mangrove. Oh, it's, oh, it's a nice mangrove. Got to get that guy up. Holy smolies. Look at the size of this guy. Oh man, I tell you what, this is a nice mangrove here. Let me hold this guy up. <laughs> nice mangrove here. He looks like he's about 13 and a half. It's about time. You know, this tide change, they're just, they're turning on right now. So uh, right out, right outside of Port Manatee here, just a beautiful mangrove snapper. Let's get a measure on this guy. Let's get a measure on this guy. I was tying on a new rig and, uh, <laughs> and this guy hit. Got to hold him up good. Oh, he's nice. Look at that. He's 14 inches long. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Beautiful mangrove. That's what we come out here for. Man, I tell you, never get tired of seeing these guys at all. Holy cow. 
Yep, man, it took it took about four hours before they started hitting, but uh, I got to get out there and get another guy. Man, beautiful, huh? Man. Never get tired of these mangroves. Let's get another. He's about 14 inches. Really nice looking guy, I tell you what. And, and today is uh, Christmas Eve. What a beautiful day. Well, this is my mangrove uh, rod and reel here. It's the uh, Shimano Twin Power, the 4000. And I, I spooled on here some Power Pro 30 pound uh, high visibility yellow. And this is a medium fast action. I, I like the medium fast 20 to 50. And here's what I've been using right here. This is just a uh, five aught uh, circle hook with a eighth ounce, um, like a yellowtail snapper jig with an eight ounce slip sinker, 30 pound fluorocarbon. And I'm just gonna hook these guys like this, grab, grab a greenback just like this. And, and these grouper, they've been hitting this and they love these things. The ones I've cleaned up, man, and their stomach, they're full of, full of these, they're full of the thread fins. And right now I'm just gonna, I just been giving it a flick out there, just like that. Just, just let it sink right down. Let me see, adjust the drag. I don't wanna give it too much. When I had that 15 pound test on, and they were just, uh, they were just breaking it off, some of them. They get, a lot of them got rock me up. So let's just see what we can get on the first cast out here. Come on, take it. Yeah, the tide's supposed to switch around one o'clock today. And um, by that time, the sun will be heating the water up. And last last couple times, they didn't really start getting into any action until until that time when the water warmed up. Fish on, fish on, got him on that, uh, got him on that uh, pinfish. And I tell you, <laughs> look at that let's see what it is let's see what it is there it is it's, it's a gag look at that not a keeper but i tell you man it's nice to get them look at that beautiful gag first fish of the day little gag grouper nice little guy look at that let's just get a measure on this guy but look at that beautiful first fish of the day i love it look at that look at the mouth on that guy man on that yellow tail snapper jig see that that's what we got him on he's not legal but let's get a measure yeah, he's like a 16 inch gag. Fairly common for gags around here. Uh, you know, about what, 16, 17? But um, <laughs> first fish of the day, and uh, let's get another one. Look at how beautiful he is. Look at the translucent uh, uh, fins on him. Man, I love that. Look at this guy. Man, look at the a little bit. Look at the scrapes on him from going in the rocks because I pulled him out of there. Look at that. But uh, let's uh, unhook this guy and let's get him. Let's unhook him and get another. Come on, gently release the guy. Go on, there he goes. I had another hit on my pinfish pole. Let's, oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, yeah, there's something on here. There's something, he's probably taking me in the rocks already. Look at that, look at that. Oh, wow, another break off. Are you kidding, two break offs in a row? Come on. Well, after that uh, 16, 17 inch uh, gag grouper, I'm gonna put another one on. I'm just hooking him right in the back here. That's a five aught circle hook. Just hooking it right in the back. Come on, come on, get in there. Just like that, just like that. It wasn't even out there a minute. Wasn't even out there a minute because I reeled it in and tossed it back out. Anyways, look at that. Look at that happy guy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna toss him out just like that. That's all I did. Just let it uh, drift down, let it settle down. And I put it in my rod holder right there. See what happens. I want a big gag. Oh, he's really active. Holy cow, I better, better set the bail here. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's really active. He, <laughs> something's got him scared. Come on, come on, guy, take it. I mean, it's really rocky down here. I lost several gags here in the last few days getting hung up, and that's what they do. Gags, they go right for the rocks. Come on, oh, oh, oh. I think he's, he's on there. He's playing with it. Come on. He's thinking about it, acting like a mangrove, but you never, you never can tell. He's moving with it this way. You can just see the line. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, oh man, I tell you, look at that. That was probably another gag. Broke the line. Yep, took me in the rocks. That's what they do. Well, we had another hard fought day today. I managed to get one 17 inch gag lost several others you know and I switched from a 30 pound leader to a 40 pound leader and um, then I just didn't get any hits so you'll see all the fish that I lost you'll see all the fish that I got which are not as many as you think but you know it's all about fishing and having fun and 
and that, that's pretty much what my uh, slogan is you know it's all about fishing and having fun and that's what we do out here it's just a beautiful day out here there's there's the bridge out there look at that port manatee i've been out in the channel here just been beautiful today well there's one more day left one more day left of uh group of season and i'm going to come out here uh, uh friday on the 31st and <laughs> give it one last shot out here and the the weather should be a lot better the water should be warm uh hopefully we can uh, pick up a gag or two you never know <laughs> you know i'm gonna get some break offs that's what i do so anyways i want to thank everybody for showing up today give me a thumbs up for a like don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time this is scott with saltwater fishing tampa happy fishing